All right, and we're back with the stream. So we're starting episode nine in our research city. It's uh, <laughs> currently I've titled this episode "Codename Research City." So uh, <laughs> obviously we'll need a need a name for this city, but uh, we'll get there. Let's take a quick survey here as we let our approvals roll in. I've always found that it's best to wait for your approvals before exiting a city. Uh, it helps to minimize any possible chances of issues that can be caused by the region not updating correctly or, you know, just dumb things like that. So this one's going to be where we have our academy. And I'm not sure yet quite where I'll place it. But I'm looking around. Ah, thank you, AKA. <laughs> Welcome back yourself. And we'll kind of watch here because we'll see the arcology build in the background here as, as the region syncs up with itself. <laughs> I know I may do my streaming recording a little different than people, but I like to do what, uh, it, if, you're, if you're a fan of the Frog Pants Network, I like to do what Scott Johnson calls live to hard drive. Uh, I'm far too lazy to do any video editing, so, <laughs> so I'll just record it live and uh, post it. That's, that's all I really care about. So waiting on the arcology to pop up over here. You can see our demand flexing as we go. Ah, see, there we go. Starting to pop up in the background. Well, that's going. I'm going to grab another cup of coffee real quick here. All right, armed with coffee. <laughs> there we go, we got the arcology starting to approve. There goes the arcology constructing. <laughs> By the way, if anyone has uh, recommendations on a name for this city, just let me know. For some reason, it, I see it lagged for a second there. It's or not lagged, but it, it really kind of freaked out for a minute. We're back though, it's working correctly. There we go. Increase the arcology population, cool. And we got our 10 million. Excellent, time to start building. Now this city is mostly going to be high wealth residential. Um, because we, we want to provide a ton of control net to this area. So I think we're going to bring this straight in. And I want to build a fun interchange here. Tinvecville. <laughs> That's a... You know, I, I, <clears throat> I had a region where I basically took anything that like, for instance, the name of this city is 
Hiroshige Overlook, I would have named it Tinvec Overlook. And so the entire region was named Tinvec something or other, or, <laughs> you yeah. know. And this interchange... What do I want to do here? If I bring it straight in, if I just do it, I could just do a cloverleaf interchange. That's kind of boring. Let's think about this real quick here. I kind of want to put the research, uh, the, uh, the academy, like, back here, maybe? I don't know. I was hoping I could put it out, kind of out on a little, a little cliff side or something. Moobot. Well, what is Moobot, Strit? I've, I don't know what that is. And you did some new icons. Oh, cool. All right, let's let's build this interchange first here. I think I'm going to have an avenue that kind of cuts across the city this way. Actually, let's do let's do diagonals for this city. So I th think what we're going to do is have this avenue come this way. Um, like over here. Something like that. Oh, it's an admin bot for the chat. Cool. I've never I've never played with that. Oh. We're gonna do a quadrant city. I need a new mic. Are you get, are you getting a lot of feedback or something through the microphone, or is it just not loud or enough? Or, or I guess, can you elaborate? <laughs> or do I need a new friend named Mike? I'm actually using the microphone from my webcam. Um, I don't have. I had a, a. I have another desktop microphone, but it's um, there's a lot of hiss in it, and I can't seem to get rid of it. So I think it's just because it's kind of a low quality mic. Um, and believe me, the, the camera microphone sounds much much better. Ah yes. It's alright, I timed him out. Um, it sounds staticky to you? Because, see, that's the problem that I had with my original microphone. With with my other desktop microphone. Is it, There's just a, so much hiss in the background. That's why I started using the, the headphone, or the camera one. Um... Let me double check, make sure my settings didn't get switched around. Two seconds here. Alright, and I'm back. Nope, it, it sounds fine. Oh, yeah, the, the mic's kind of low quality, sorry. I, I do need to get an, a new setup here, but I... This is my first week streaming. I've, I've never even streamed my game. Like I said, I've got, I've said before, I've got, you know, 800, probably 850 or so hours into this game, and I just started streaming um, this week, so, so, I guess it was last week by now, but still. So I think we're going to make this a sort of trumpet-style interchange. I don't know if you guys have ever watched Yuto. Uh, he's 
kind of my inspiration for doing interchanges. I guess he's kind of a lot of our inspirations when we do interchanges. And I'm debating on keeping this above ground or sinking it. I think we'll keep this one above ground and maybe we'll sink this road. So let's do this here. Pretty good, that looks pretty good. Then we'll draw our on and off ramp stuff. These sort of frontage roads that will serve as our on and off ramps. There we go. Oh, come on. Find the spot you like. There you go. go. Oh, I built it on the other side <laughs> where I wanted it to. Well, no, seriously, you're not gonna, not gonna be as nice as the other side, are you? Why doesn't it want to build there like I want it to? It's not intersecting the road at all. And I don't want to raise it. Alright, we may have to redraw this part here in a minute. That's interesting. <laughs> it left a bridge there. On flat land. <laughs> it's kinda neat. <laughs> what is this road sorcery? <laughs> this section flattened out. Hmm. Oh, that must be from our weird bridge action. There we go. And then I'll see if I can do this at three blocks back, I'm hoping. But I might have to go back one more. Looks like I might have to go back one more. There we go. That actually actually kinda looks good. I mean this this little whoop, this little bit of strange texture up here is well, strange, but I can live with it. Now let's see how we can get these to connect. And if we can get these to connect the way that I want them to. Because 
gonna put a weird dip in the road there. Yes, yes it is. Okay. Uh, thank you, Teeth Rider. <laughs> That's an interesting name. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. This is a. Uh, this is, this might be a little bit of a painful section of the stream to watch as I mangle these roads into submission. <laughs> It's never an easy process with SimCity. Actually, I want to make sure that we're at the same section here. Or the same, you know, distance from our avenue. <laughs> that one's just right. Hey, Smirk. Yeah, I am a programmer. I, uh... I'm mostly a web developer by trade, but I do have uh, a lot of old school experience in C and C. I, I did some C sharp stuff. And it all depends on what you're talking about. I mean, how I learned to program in BASIC. <laughs> That's a little bit, a little bit of a time ago. Uh, currently, since I'm a web developer, of course I do HTML and, and uh, CSS and JavaScript and stuff. Um, but as far as backend language, uh, my job, I do a lot of C Sharp because uh, it's an ASP website. And um, uh, as far as personal stuff, I do a lot more Ruby on Rails. Um, I tend to enjoy it better. I did a lot of PHP uh, in my time, and Ruby on Rails is... I, I really I like it a lot better than PHP, but it's 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 a really good language, so there we go. Now these roads shouldn't have that annoying dip in them. <laughs> nice, in assembly. Uh, in high school, I had a TI-83 plus calculator, and uh, I programmed chess on it in assembly, so I definitely feel your pain. <laughs> the deal with this freeway I'm building, this is, um, this is going to be my research city. I'm going to have a lot of the academy and stuff in here. And um, I'm building an interchange here for this entrance to the city um, for people to be able to get in and out. And hopefully just because it's fun to build a, a neat interchange. So we're going to take a couple of these sides and we're going to make trumpets. So if somebody's coming into the city this way and they want to take a left, they can get off here, come around this way, loop here, and go this way to get off. If they're coming out of the city and wants to take a left, which means going down this road, they'll get off here, come this way, loop around and go this way. So there's two of our trumpets. The other ones I haven't figured out yet. So we'll do we'll do the trumpets off of this main highway first. And what do I want to do here for <coughs> distance? Let's do 
188. Sure. They don't need to be big. Oh, and of course I did that on the wrong side. <laughs> One eighty eight. Come on. Ah. One eighty eight. And then we'll do that over here too. Where we will have equal size loops on either side. Exit, they'll need to go over the freeway here. Do it from there. That might be a little too close. Let's see if we can get a bridge there. That'll look good. Ooh. That'll be kind of a high bridge, though. Let's see how high that'll go. Yeah, I don't like the look of that at all. So it looks like we're going to have to come back one more block here. Let's see here. I want it to come down pretty much as close as we can here. I want the distance on the other side to be the same as well, so that the two bridges look the same. Or the two overpasses, as it were. Does that look good, or is that going to be lumpy? Ah. There's a little bit of a dip in it. It's not terrible, though. I think I think I can live with that. And then we just need to make this curve go in. There. So now once we connect it to the highway over here, they'll be able to exit, come around, and go to the left side. <coughs> we do the right side in a little bit here. But let's do this other overpass. And we know from the top one that we're going to need to go all three out from there. And over the top. Oh, this one doesn't want to be as nice. I think it looks like we're a bit farther out on the other one. Where's our spot? Oh, oh, there it is. Does it match the other one? Yeah, they still, they both have that kind of same stupid little, uh, this one's not even as bad as far as the dip goes, but whatever, close enough. still looks good. Alright. So we got the first section done. 
I always try to take care of left turns first because those are the harder ones. And then we'll do right turn, right hand turns because that just needs to, I mean, that seems to be a little bit easier normally. So, we have the left hand turns off of this highway done. Let's look at the left hand turns off of this highway. So if we're going, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. We did the left hand turns off of this highway, so we know what the one that goes underneath now, yes. So if someone is coming this way and they're trying to get out of the city, we want them to come off on the right hand side of the road and be able to come out over here. So I think we can do something that comes off this way, something like that. Maybe I can even make it short enough to where I can get both sides to go over correctly. So let's try it out. Mech them here. Couple. Now we have something kind of forcing it off to the side, so we can hopefully make it over that onto this side where they can exit comfortably. with this other road here. There we go. Now I think we should be able to go like this. have it go all the way out. I think that's a little too far and it'll end up trying to overlap with the other one. Because remember we have, we have to make another one on the other side here. We could do it but I think we want this one. Oh, maybe that's too close. Oh. Let's see how that looks. Oh. <laughs> no way. That's, that's totally not what we're going for here. Alright, let's try this again. I'm trying to get these as close to the same because I kind of want to make it look symmetrical once I get the other side on. I hope you guys are enjoying my road mangling. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the next time, I, uh, I'll probably stream some more today, but I usually try to stream for an hour most nights on weeknights, and then weekends I have, you know, obviously off from work, so I, um, I stream a little bit longer and at different times. It just depends on what I have time for and what's going on.
think we need to make this side just a smidge longer. That may even be, yes, yeah, so that's too far. There we go. Now they look about the same size. And that might not. I think that's going to end up hitting the other one, too. Oh, but this will work. I bet you that doesn't look terrible. Oh, yeah, see, that looks... Now, that's an overpass. Not this, like, hill. <laughs> All right, now let's do this other side here. So if they're coming this way and want to take a left, we do the same thing. Come over the top. Oh, I suppose we don't need to be on fast forward. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we're not making or losing any money right now, but I don't need to. It'll give me more daylight time. Uh, I guess we can be on fast forward until we get to daylight again. This corner. And wait, this corner. And those actually look right about the same size, so maybe this will come out looking really nice, just less work. I don't think we had to go that high in the last one. That's seven. I think that's going to be too high. It's not going to match the other side. Oh, maybe it does. I guess I guess that's about as high as I had to come out for the other side. Those fairly well do match in height. Alright. I like it. So, we have our left turns taken care of. Now it's time to do our right-hand turns. That's actually flat. Oh, relatively. <laughs> being a little bit of a perfectionist here with where these roads are placed, but once they're placed, I shouldn't have to replace them, which is good. Close enough for now. Oh, that's pretty close. Ah, 
So we got a little bit of a lump in that. There we go. Right-hand turns over here are very easy. I'm going to take out this corner and round it. And then we'll come back from the curve right here. And about right there. And we'll disconnect it. We don't know what kind of a nice looking intersection. There. And that's our right hand turns there. Do the right hand turn on this side. Oops. Oh, see, so we let the whole day go by and I forgot to slow it down. So it's nighttime again. I'll have to catch that when we get to daylight again. hand turns for this side. the right turn for that side mostly done. We just need to do the intersection where it connects. Mm, that's okay. I can live with that. And then we'll do this side. Okay. 
That should work. Oops. Oh yeah, it's probably still too close. Now we have our little interchange created here. Um, well, almost completely. We need to do the right turns for this one. And right turns over here. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Now we have all of that connected for uh, not to the main highway yet. But uh, it's all connected for the on and off ramps for the right and left hand turns. We are going to connect it to the freeway. I just want to make sure, I kind of want to look at it for a second here and make sure I know where I'm going. And I do kind of have a dilemma of whether or not I want to, um, you know, which way I want to do this. Because depending on where I have the two roads connect, uh, you know, the, the off ramps connect to the highway there. I don't know if I want them to connect at the same spot. But not connecting them at the same spot could cause backups, and I'm just not sure yet here. Thank you. I think it looks better when they both connect at the same spot, though. I think, I think we're just going to connect them to the same spot, because I think that'll look much better. And we want a nice tail here for um, being able to exit the freeway. Or exit, you know, you can get onto the freeway, rather, because that's this is an on-ramp. And then if I connect them at the same place, it looks like this. And while that's not an amazing intersection, it's clean. Because I could also bring this back and just connect it like here, but then I create this possible issue between these two intersections. So I think we're going to just connect them both at the same place. See, I'm still waffling on this decision. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Teeth Rider. I'll see you in a little while then. I've still got uh, about another 20 minutes for this episode. Anybody got a name for this city? Uh, I'm happy. I'm totally accepting names. So <laughs> I might. Uh, I'd like to kind of have a name for the city before the episode's over. But if I don't have one, I'm fine with that. And call this episode Codename Research City. It kind of sounds neat.
So while this intersection, or this interchange rather, is going to take up a, a bit of space, um, I don't really care. <laughs> I, I'm not worried about space in this city just because it's almost primarily going to be just for researching stuff. It's not, I, I don't plan to have a high population, especially since, you know, for, for academy research, it's got to be high wealth in order to go at a decent rate, you know, decent speed. Plus, it's kind of fun just to make a neat interchange like this. Is that all four? That's all four. There. We're all connected. Interchange is made. So, like I said, we took up kind of a big chunk of the map there doing the interchange in the middle. But over here is where we're going to do our research section. So. Yeah, that, I think that actually came out looking very nice. Other than a little bit of a lumpy, you know, the dip in this little bridge and this little bridge, it's it's very good. I like it. Plus, it looks pretty cool up close up. You know, like if you're actually on the the freeway, you get this these big towering, <laughs> you know, bridges that come over the top. Looks pretty cool. All right, enough enough ogling of my interchange. <laughs> So people come in the city, and then I think a lot of them are going to end up taking this right. So they'll come off here, take a right here, and get off the freeway over here. Because um, we'll have a little bit of you know commercial in this city, so that the high wealth people can from other cities can come here and shop. But I think it's cool to place the the research center on like a cliff over here. Maybe what we'll actually do is just have the, the road here kind of terminate straight into the the academy. Uh, I got I got to remember to turn off my sounds. <laughs> so when my wife texts me, you guys don't hear that Archer sound. But if you're fans of Archer, I hope you got a kick in that kick out of that. Or I, I don't even know if you heard it, but. Um, I forgot I need to, yeah, you have to have five high wealth residential buildings in the city, so we're going we're gonna to do a little bit of a, not, not a cheat, but that's that's all we're going to do is get some some high wealth residential buildings, just, just right down here in the corner. Since we have the money, we can just get that right away here. Four. All right, that'll be five high wealth residential buildings. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, even six. Cool. As soon as they build, we'll get that approval, and then we can demolish this little section. <laughs> I just feel a little bad cheating the approvals, but it's okay. Come on. I have five. Approve it. Really? Why, why are we not getting approved here? Oh, do we have to tick over the hour mark? Seriously, prove this thing. You can see our right hand turns are working very nicely. I have five high wealth residential buildings. That's what you asked for. You even have the check mark. 
do I have to have power? Because, I mean, I'll just pull it from the region, but do I, do I have to have that for, for this to go? Maybe that's what it is. Power and water. There we go. There's the approval. Alright. Now I kind of want to put it up here. I mean, it'd be cool just to have it like right at the end of this road. Just to make it look neat. Let's see, we can do... Is this far enough back? So we can put the academy, like, right here, but, the, but it, they don't exit and enter from there. Like, we'd have to put it over here for the exit and entrance to be at that intersection. But I think I like that better if we just put it right here and have them exit off to that right-hand side. That should be good. Exit the alchematic, you know, exit and enter here. But coming in the city, it should look cool coming up this, uh... See, name my city. <laughs> it should look cool coming up this to the academy yeah all right now that we've got our academy placed i think we're going to call it an episode here i will be back a little bit later today i'm just going to take a few minutes of, of break so if you're watching the live stream uh feel free to follow me uh you'll you'll know when i when i come back live and yeah, you know 10 20 minutes maybe half hour just gonna take a short break here um, if you want to watch uh, other videos that I've had, they're either in my highlights for Twitch or I always post to YouTube after the fact. So you're more than welcome to watch there and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to catch up on, uh, on things as I post them. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll be back a little bit later today if you're watching live.